the mother who cares for the world, as a lioness who cares for her cubs, comparing the love, care and braveness for them with caring for the world. Both requires love, attention and care. Both have needs, both have something to give. Undeniably, it's easier to accomplish this for one's child, but for the world, it is much more of a challenging task. Why is the question? If we look at our world from an outsider's perspective, it is easy to see the damage done, pollution, global warming, depleting of natural resources, taking it all for granted, to mention a few. These are visible and known factors. We as humans are the sole reason our world is in this predicament, but we as humans are also the only solution to the predicament. Our beautiful world reminding ourselves we only have one. Therefore, we need to cherish, love, care and protect her and not continue on the destructive path. How are we going to accomplish this? Firstly, we need to change our mindsets. We need to appreciate what she has to offer. We need to be aware of our actions and consequences thereof. Plastic bags versus paper bag, recycling versus not. The example you live can make a difference in the mindsets of our children and family and friends. Secondly, choices. We always have a choice. It is our decisions that can make a difference in this world. Loving and caring for children comes naturally for most of us. But loving, caring, protecting is not so easy and natural for the world. Thanks to documentary, certain individuals and news channels, we have become aware of what the effects are of our reckless carelessness towards our world. We have learned that we are able to slow down, example global warming, since eliminating known sources such as greenhouse gases. The effect has slowed down, but unfortunately, due to the severity, irreversible damage has occurred. But in some instances, the course has changed from negative to positive. The ozone layer. For example, on the 6th of January 2021, the World Meteorological Organization published an article stating, the record-breaking 2020 on Arctic ozone hole finally closed in December. Unfortunately, there is still enough chemicals referred to as ozone-depleting substances, halo carbons being one of them in the atmosphere, to cause ozone depletion on an annual basis, said Dr. Terezova. We must stay optimistic, vigilant to keep the trajectory positive. A quote by Julie Beck. Women are like lionesses at the gates of the home. Whatever happens in that home and family happens because she cares about it and it matters to her. Let us all be lionesses of our lives. If we all contribute, we can change the world for future generations to come. I would like to pose the question to you. Are you a lioness?